Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mathlog. This lesson is converting units of weight and mass. Okay, so we're going to do uh, the customary units and um, uh, the metric units. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathlog.com. Okay, so here's our common core strand. And our question here is, how can we use ratio reasoning to convert from one unit of weight or mass to another unit? Okay, so... Here we go. The weight of an object is a, the measure of how heavy it is. So common uh, units of weight in the customary measurement system are uh, uh, ounces and pounds and tons. Okay, so one pound equals 16 ounces, and then one ton, which is a capital T, equals 2,000 pounds. And pounds are abbreviated with LB, and ounces are abbreviated with OZ. I don't know where they get OZ or LB, but they do. <laughs> anyway, so Darcia's bowling ball weighs 226 ounces. What is the weight of the bowling ball in pounds? Okay, so how are the ounces and the pounds related? Okay, well, here's our conversion unit right here. So one pound equals uh, 16 ounces right there. So should we expect the number of pounds to be greater than uh, 226 or less than 226? Well, um, since every uh, 16 ounces uh, is only one pound, then it's definitely going to be less than. Okay. All right, so we're going to convert 226 ounces to pounds right there. Okay. So now remember, one pound equals 16 ounces. And so since this is 226 ounces, we want the ounces to be on the bottom right here so we're going to put the 16 down here and the one up there that way the ounces are going to cancel when we multiply okay so we'll multiply 226 OZ which represents ounces by the conversion factor one pound to 16 ounces okay this is 226 over one so let's go ahead and do that and then these ounces cancel and then we'll be left with the pounds right there the LB right there okay see how those ounces cancel if there's one on top and one on bottom when you're multiplying multiplying fractions and those units cancel each other and then all of a sudden we're in um, we're in pounds okay so now we got to do 226 divided by 16 so I did that for you right here okay so don't give up on your division skills you guys all right it's not that hard um, kids just don't like doing it and so they give up on it so 16 goes into 22 one time and so we put 16 down underneath there and then you guys know what to do 22 minus 16 go ahead and use your fingers if you have to so I get um, a 6 right there and then what do we do now okay now we slide down this next uh, 6 right there and then we ask how many times does 16 go into 66? Uh, four times. 16 times 4 is 64. 16 times 2 is 32, so if we double that, that's 64. Okay, then we subtract, okay? And then when we subtract, there's our remainder because we don't have anything else to bring down, okay? So this is going to be represented as um, uh, the 14 goes here. We start at the top and then go clockwise and 2 16. So 14 and 2 16 of a pound right there. Okay, and then uh, so the fractional part of the answer can be renamed using the smaller unit. Okay, so instead of 2 16 of a pound, since 1 pound equals 16 ounces, okay, then 2 16 is going to represent 2 ounces right there. So this is going to be 14 pounds and 2 ounces right there. So Darcia's bowling ball weighs 14 pounds and 2 ounces. Okay. All right, so now let's convert 38 pounds to ounces. Okay, so here we want to get rid of the pounds, so we want to make sure the pounds are in the bottom. Okay, so the conversion factor is one pound equals 16 ounces, but notice we put the one pound in the bottom, so it gets rid of the pounds on the top. So we'll put the 16 ounces on top, and that way when we multiply, the pounds will cancel right there. Okay, so we're left with... Um, we're left with ounces right here, so 38 times 16. I like doing uh, 38 times 10 plus 6, which is 16. So 38 times 10, well, that's easy. That's 380. And then 38 times uh, 6, well, I did that for us right here. Okay, so 6 times 8 is, is 48. So there's the 8, carry the 4. Okay, and then 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22. So so we're going to add two, uh, uh, 228 to that 380. So when we add those guys, we get 608 right there. So, so uh, 300, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 38 pounds is equivalent to 608 ounces right there. Okay, 
All right, so just remember, you guys, if we want the pounds to cancel, we put the pounds in the denominator with our conversion factor. So one pound equals 16 ounces. So the pounds has to go downstairs on this one right here, okay? So explain how we can use, uh, how we can convert 38 pounds to tons. Okay, well, if we want pounds to get away, remember, uh, one ton equals 2,000 pounds, so we want the pounds to be on the bottom, so we'll multiply this by uh, one ton over 2,000 pounds. That way the pounds cancel, and uh, we'll get 38 divided by 2,000, whatever that is right there, but that's how we do it. All right, so metric unit, like before, you guys, the amount of, um, uh, of matter in an object Matter means um, uh, how much it weighs, you guys. So the amount that it weighs uh, in metrics is in terms of grams. So metric units are, are mass related by powers of 10. So here's grams right here. So if we go times 10, that'll give us decigrams. And then times 10 will give us centigrams. And times 10 will give us milligrams. And so if we go from grams and go to the left, we go divided by 10 gets us decagrams and then hectograms and then kilograms right there. So going to the right is times 10, going to the left is divided by 10, okay? So here's what we've studied so far. We did length and then we did capacity and this is in weight right here. Length is in meters, capacity is in liters, and, and weight is in grams, okay? And they're all multiples of tens with metric systems. So Kathy has a textbook with a mass of 2,570 grams. What is the mass of the book in, in centigrams and so what is the mass in kilograms so we'll do two ways right here we'll convert um, uh, the first part uh, into centigrams right here and we'll just use the conversion factor okay so here's the conversion factor right here so 100 centigrams equals one grams right here so since we want to convert grams to centigrams we want grams on the bottom right here that way the grams cancel oops we got company so my dogs are barking right there Anyway, uh, they'll stop in just a second. Anyway, so uh, we're going to multiply um, uh, this 2,570 times 100 over uh, the 100 or over the 1 grams. Okay, so here we go. We're going to multiply that, and then the grams will cancel right there. Okay, and so now we just multiply 2,570 times 100. So times 100 just means add on two zeros. So that's going to give us. 257,000 centigrams right there. So Kathy's textbook mass is 257,000 centigrams. Okay, so another way is we're going to convert uh, this to kilograms. Okay, remember uh, the metric system are related by powers of 10. So if we want to go from grams to centigrams, uh, kilogram, I'm sorry, did I centigrams? Uh, did I say that? Yeah, kilograms are three places to the left of grams. So we're just going to move the decimal point three places to the left. So one, two, three, that's going to put it right there. Okay, so it's going to be 2.750. We don't need the seven five, we don't need the zero part. So two point, or I'm sorry, 2750 grams is the same as 2.75 grams. All right, let's answer a couple of questions here. So uh, compare um, uh, objects with mass of one uh, decigram with one uh, decagram, which has greater mass right here. Okay, and explain. So here's decagram right here. So decagram, since it's to the left of decigram, it's going to be greater than. So one decagram uh, equals 100 uh, decigram. So one decagram is greater than uh, one de uh, decigram right there. All right, so a tricky question right here. Suppose yin and yang are units of weight. They're not, you guys. It's just a twist of words. And suppose that two yings equals four yangs, which is heavier a yin or a yang. Okay, well, since uh, two yings equals four yangs, each yin weighs as much as two yangs. Or uh, each yang is half the weight of two yings right there. Therefore, yings are going to be heavier right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care. Thanks for watching.